in the Fountain area and Fountain Police made that announcement uh, in regards to the suspect. Today, leaders in one southern Colorado community spoke about what they're doing to put a stop to crime and the impact on local residents. This comes after the homicide rate from January to April last year nearly doubled. 11 News reporter Michelle Wells is live outside of City Hall in Pueblo. That's where authorities spoke today. The Pueblo Police Department is working now, Michelle, with the FBI to try to prevent these types of crimes. Adam, the Pueblo Police Chief and a special agent with the FBI spoke at the press conference today about the increase in violent crimes, specifically homicides in the city. This time last year, there were six homicides. This year, there have already been 11. And the Pueblo Police Chief also says that the city is seeing an increase in drive-by shootings and crimes involving guns. Police and the FBI are working together through the Safe Streets Task Force. That group lets officers and agents work together to find leaders of criminal groups and get them federally prosecuted. They say this helps make sure criminals face the maximum time possible in prison, preventing them from committing crimes again. Police Chief Chris Noller says so. So far, the task force has been effective. In fact, he says in the past four weeks, their officers have con conducted eight search warrants, made five arrests, and have taken more than 80 guns off the streets. Special Agent Mark McCallich added, keeping the public safe is their main goal when it comes to this partnership. Ultimately, the success of our collective efforts will be seen when the good people of Pueblo are comfortable in their community. Special Agent McCallick also said this summer they're leading a federal, state, and local initiative to stop gang activity in Pueblo. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle Wells, KKTV 11 News. The No Way Weather Chief Meteorologist Brian Bledsoe is, is here with me in studio. Another